Hello, my name is Duncan Richardson. I am the co-founder and president of Bodies in Motion. I wanted to let you know that on May 4th, we are going to be reopening a few of our organized youth activities. Before I share that with you, I want to tell you which programs are going to be closed. Open play, team building, fitness, ropes course experiences, ax throwing, birthday parties, and all cafe services. Beginning on May 4th, we'll be offering reduced capacity camps with no pre and post camp care. We will also be doing reduced capacity martial arts and Ninja Warrior classes. At the same time, we're also going to be continuing our virtual martial arts programming, Ninja Warrior programming and fitness programming. So that way we can limit the number of people that are coming to Bodies in Motion. It is important to understand that when coming back to Bodies in Motion, you're going to have a completely different experience. We'll be required to adhere to strict protocol from the CDC, local health officials, and the White House Coronavirus Task Force. All of our disinfectants are going to be recommended by the CDC and approved by the EPA. Now I'd like to take you through some of the protocol that you're going to need to understand when coming to Bodies in Motion. We will have a drive and drop system for all programs. This system allows only the student to enter the facility. If you have a camp kiddo, you'll pull right up to the front doors. We'll check your child in from your car. They'll receive a forehead temperature scan and then they will enter the facility. Ninja Warrior kids must be dropped off at the west entrance. They'll receive a forehead temperature scan, then enter the building. Martial arts students must be dropped off at the east entrance. They'll receive a forehead temperature scan, then enter the building. Only your kiddo will get out of the car, and they will be the only one permitted to come inside Bodies in Motion. You will pick up your child in the same exact fashion that you dropped them off. Any child that does not pass our forehead temperature scan will then have to take an oral temperature. And if they do not pass that or they are coughing, then they will not be permitted into the facility. Campers and students must bring their own water bottles as our drinking fountain will be off limits. Stalls, sinks, and urinals will also be blocked off so that proper social distancing can be maintained. Kids will also learn where to stand when using the restrooms. Kids will have limited access to the facility as well as no interaction from kids in other programs. Cam kids and motioneers will be the only ones in the facility from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Then martial arts and ninja warrior between 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. Kids will remain in their designated areas unless they're needing to use the restroom. Disinfecting will take place on a frequent rotation and will include commonly touched items such as handles, faucets, dispensers, tables, and any equipment used for our programs. If you have any questions, please let us know. Otherwise, we look forward to seeing you really soon.